Hello and welcome everybody. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine your multiple internet connections into a single connection so that you can utilize the speed of your multiple connections into a single connection and enjoy your internet speed. So, suppose if you're having some 2-3 internet connections such as your LAN connection or Ethernet connection, a Wi-Fi connection or a USB 3G dongle. So, what you can do is you can combine the internet speed or the internet connections into a single connection and in this way you can uh, also increase your speed of the internet connection but uh, make sure that uh, if you are having if you combining two connections such as LAN or Wi-Fi so you should not run the LAN and Wi-Fi on the same network so what it will do is it will first it will split the connection and then it will uh, combine the connection so it doesn't make any sense if you are using it on a different network it will be uh, it will in, it will be very better so let's see how to combine multiple internet connections the first step what you need to do is you need to download and install a software known as node.js so this is the website url from where you can download the package known as node.js it's nodejs.org I'll place this link in the description as well. So I've downloaded this. So what you need to do is just you need to click on install. So it will download an executable file. So I'm already having the executable. So just double click on the executable. And just click on run. And just follow the on-screen instructions to install Node.js. Click on next accept the terms click on next and click on install so we'll wait till the installation is finished and then we'll proceed to the next step so in node.js installation is finished just click on finish the second most important step is you need to open the command prompt of the node.js so just click on the start menu and type search node.js you'll see that the node.js command prompt is here just Just right click on this and open it as an as administrator. Just click on ad, run as administrator. So once your node.js is open, the next step is to install a package known as dispatch proxy. So this is the command to install the pack, the dispatch proxy package. npn is nothing but it's a package manager for node.js, just like you have an rpm in Linux. So just copy this command and install a package known as dispatch proxy. So you will get some on screen messages. So this indicates that you are successfully installing the dispatch proxy. The next step is you need to check whether the installation is successful or not. So this is the command to check the version of the dispatch proxy. So I will type in dispatch hyphen uppercase b so here is the version 0.1.2 so this version can change depending upon when you have downloaded this video if you have downloaded it, the latest one then latest node.js package so at that time your package your version will be different so let's proceed to the next step so list the all network interfaces so, clear the screen and the command for this is dispatch list. So, I'll type in dispatch list. So, this will give you all the interfaces which are available on your system. So, this is my 3G USB dongle. So this is the first connection. That's the IP address for it. My local area connection. And these are all, if you have a Wi-Fi connection, it will also show a Wi-Fi adapter here. This is for IPv6. So what I am going to do is I will uh, combine this uh, 3G dongle. This is a Tata Photon Plus and the local area connection. I'll combine these two connections for increasing the internet speed. So what you need to do is you need to start the dispatch proxy. So by running this command, dispatch space start hyphen hyphen HTTP you can start the disp dispatch proxy so this is the command 
So once you fire this, you can see that the dispatch server started on localhost and this is the port number and dispatching to addresses. So this is, if you can see, this is the address for the Tata Photon Plus and this is the address for the local area connection. So please make a note that with the help of this command dispatch start hyphen hyphen http you are opening the dispatch proxy and http proxy. So if you are using surfing the internet and downloading internet on the web so you need to use the http proxy. So we are using this as http so it will be used only for surfing and downloading on the web. Other than this if you want to use something else you can use the stocks file. Just what you need to do is replace this HTTP with the stocks file. And one another important thing is that you can dispatch the proxy to specific addresses. Suppose you are having an addresses, two three different addresses. So what you need to do is just dis click on dispatch start. You can get this addresses from the command which we have used earlier dispatch list hyphen v sorry the dispatch list. You can type in the IP address 1 and IP address 2. Suppose if you want to combine only two internet connections such as your LAN and your USB dongle so you can give the IP addresses in the same command so it will dispatch on these two specific addresses only it will not use any different any other than uh, interface other than these two and you can also set the priority of the interfaces for example it is the same command just after the IP address you need to type the priority so at the rate 4 means for this IP address 10 out of 4 internet connect incoming connections will be allocated to this IP address and for second IP address that is at the rate 3 3 incoming connections out of 10 will be given to the IP address 3 so once we have done this if you don't want to means if you are confused with all this stuff just fire this command dispatch start hyphen hyphen http it will do everything for you no need to give the priorities if you are an advanced user you can play with these things but if you don't want to mess up with the installation or the configuration just just fire this command and it will help you out the next thing is just you need to edit the process settings so what you need to do is just open the command prompt and in the command prompt go to internet options just open internet options from the internet property select the connections tab and in the bottom you have LAN settings click on LAN settings and select this checkbox that is the proxy server use the proxy server for your LAN just select this and click on OK sorry you have to select the advanced settings just select this and click on advanced and you need to type in the lo here as localhost it's already there I have done the configuration previously so it's taking that setting so what you need to do is you need to just type localhost and 8080 as the port why we are doing this is because when you start the dispatch proxy you will get a message that it, it is dispatching on some kind of IP address so it will say that it is dispatching on localhost and it will give the port followed by before it, there will be a semicolon and followed by the port number so when you are using HTTP you can use this and I also shown you that you can also use stocks 5 so if you are using starting it on stocks 5 what you need to do is you need to just fill the same things here in stock 5 instead of HTTP so once all this is complete hit OK finish this and your multiple internet connections will be combined on the local host and you can enjoy the speed of the three different internet connections combined to a single internet connection I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing and if you are having any queries, please feel free to comment on the video. I will place all these links, all the commands in the description of the video. And apart from this, if you are having any queries, please feel free to comment on the video. As well as don't forget to subscribe my channel.